Hey RC fam, we're gonna unbox this, show you how to set up regular lipos, and see how long it takes to set up a regular lipo battery. Stay tuned. Family RC! Welcome to the family! Subscribe! Alright, so ultimately setup times will vary for every person. I mean, you might keep your adapters plugged in or your charger plugged in all the time, or all your batteries might be on the same connector. You may have a balance or a parallel board, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, this charger has a lot of nice features, but our focal point today is to quickly unbox it and show you how to set up your LiPos and what it looks like menu and time-wise to do so. You will notice that not only is this nicely wrapped and packaged, but it comes with a pair of each of the three adapters, which are Deans, EC3s, EC5s, which are both of those are compatible with the IC3 and IC5. Then you got your power cable and then your data cable. In our house, we primarily use IC5 or EC5s, Traxxas, and Deans. So we might convert the EC3s later. But yeah, this has such a good weight to it. It feels premium. It does have a just a good solid feel to it. All right, let's get a charge set up. All right, um, we're gonna go ahead and get these out of the way. Get this out of the way. We'll bring this into focus. Why well, not focus, but in position. Go ahead and prop that. Well, you know what? Let's get it plugged in first. So for the um, demonstration here, we're gonna use these Podway 5200s. I'm assuming these are one C charge rate, so that's how we're gonna set it up. So we're gonna use these for our demonstration. Go ahead and get this plugged in. Um, Actually, we're gonna plug in the balance cable. I will show you that when you plug the balance cable in, it tells you the, where the voltage of the battery, and if you go into it, it'll tell you the voltage of each individual cell. So we'll go back to that primary screen. When you first turn on this charger, it will be on, it'll, it'll show you the splash screen, and then it'll come up to this split. In order for you to change into settings, you have to go into a primary channel. So obviously we're going to be going into channel A. Let's go ahead and um, prop this up. Get zoomed in. All right. So now it's time to show you how to navigate the individual menu. You have your uh, channel and back button here, and then you have your enter and your setting button here. And these are just up and down to help you choose between the two. All right, so right off the jump, you got your battery plugged in. Let's get this adapter out of the way. You go to channel A and you press enter. And right here, one of the pros of this charger is that it saves your parameters from the last time you charged. The con to that is if you want to set up a different type of battery, you will have to set up the parameters for the other battery. But if you're charging two of the same battery, then it'll actually be saved to A or B. And that's even if you unplug the charger. If you unplug your charger and then you plug it back in, all your, all your previous parameters will still be there, which is really cool. Um, but again, if you're, it's, a, it's a real pro if you're charging two of the same batteries, a bit of a con if you're charging two separate types of batteries at the same time. So you kind of gotta, you know, that's, that's you know the nature of this. Um, so for me, all I'd have to do is press enter and start the task, and I'd be done. Um, but if you've never set up a battery, let's see, I don't know if I'd set this one up, but either way, I'll have to change the parameters. So we're gonna plug in this battery. Go ahead, this is a 4S battery, so its parameters will be a little different. Um, go ahead and make sure that's plugged in. And, for, and we'll even start to charge on this one too. We'll start task. All right, and then we'll go ahead and get this one plugged in. Get this one. I made a little trick on myself, having this propped at an angle, but all right. All right, so on channel eight, it's already starting the process. We're up at 5.2 amps. I believe these are 2C. Can I charge this at a, I don't know. Doesn't really say, does it? So we'll act like it's not a 2C because I can't tell where if it is or not. All right, so now we're gonna do, gotta do two clicks. 
enter right off the jump it recognizes a 4s um it's only a fifth uh you see how it's at 5.2 like the previous battery we're gonna have to go into there enter drop that down if we're charging at a 1c rating then it's already target voltage is still set up uh accurately um and it is a light bulb and it is on charge so everything is already set up you just needed to change the target current and start task and you literally get set up in a few clicks um, but again it also depends on the type of battery you're setting up um, if you're charging a battery let's say your other battery that you like to charge is a you know uh, 2c that means you'll have to jump the uh, target current up if you want to or if you play it safe you can just keep charging at you know the 5000 or or 5 amp versus you know 5.2 amp or however you decide to do it so as you see it, it's really quick at setup time which i was kind of surprised um whereas it took me forever to learn how to use something like this um but something like this also has a storage mode so once you get the hang of it it is pretty quick so once you've actually had set up a battery and already put in the parameters uh setup is really fast you know you get a chance pick your channel um get into the settings if it's not set up to 2.0 you can literally one one two everything else is set up and you press start task boom and the same thing goes for uh putting in the storage mode so when you first aim to put it in storage mode you got to come up here you know um go in here and put it in storage you'll see it's at three point and it'll put it pretty much set it everything the way you had it set before um so we had our target vo uh, cell voltage to be 3.8 volts which is about where you want to if you're putting it in storage mode and then obviously if you're charging you want to put it about 4.2 if you look up in the forums and stuff obviously do your research for your batteries but that's pretty much the general guidelines for any standard lipo battery so if you're at like a, a 5200 milliamp battery, uh, milliamp hour battery, then you want to put it at 5.2 amps for your target your target current, at least for store um, for charging. I don't know. Maybe you might want to do less if we're going to put it in storage mode. I don't know. Everybody's different. But as far as the way it's set up, it, as far as the way it goes to set it up, it's already set up for that. So you literally put it in storage mode is sub voltage will be remembered from the last time that you used that particular mode and you press start task and you you know it's going to start putting it in storage mode for you can't really beat that you know it's pretty quick and it's pretty intuitive so to summarize if you've already set the parameters on a battery then setup time is literally just a few clicks and it's up and charging um so the pro there is like I mentioned before is you put in the parameters and it carries it over to both channels and if you're using the same batteries your set of time just got cut in half of the second battery the con there is if you're using a lot of different individual batteries there is no individual battery type memory so you will have to do minor adjustments but it, as you saw it's pretty quick if you found this helpful please like share with somebody who might need the information uh, please subscribe, join our family. We have a bunch of fun content and how to and informative stuff coming out. And of course we love to bash. Uh, so look forward to more of those type of videos coming out. And um, thanks for watching.